Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing fine. You probably are wondering, what am I doing with a tennis ball? Are we gonna be playing tennis indoors? Sadly, not yet. I have found a very good revolutionary technique to actually reach the nods and the trigger points that cause a lot of stress and pain in your muscles and release the stress using the tennis ball. I'm going to be sharing this with you right now. لو تتفرج على هذا الفيديو باللغة العربية اضغط captions او cc تحت عشان تتفرج معنا. Guys, before I start, I just want to remind you quickly to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to have my latest updates delivered to you. Get ready and let's go. Okay, first thing we're gonna need to know is that we're gonna use our body to actually cause the pr pressure. Uh, we're gonna use the wall, simply like this, a plain wall. I prefer that the wall is not too smooth in my condition. It's kind of okay, but if you had like a wall that's not too smooth, it would be better for the friction. So what we're gonna do now, the area we're gonna focus on working on is actually this area right here, the, the upper back with the neck, okay? So the first thing we're gonna work on is the back. We're gonna need to put the ball right here and create an angle with our bodies while we go down like this. And you have to locate the trigger point that you have. For me, it's right here, yeah. For me, it's in the trapezius here. It's caused by actually using the computer and the phone and a little bit, a little bit of the credit goes to the workout. But what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna create an angle like this and we're gonna be moving up and down. I have located the, uh, yeah, exactly. Up and down like this. I've located the trigger point that I have and I'm working on just releasing that point right here. Up and down. For other people, they might have an issue here between the lower trapezius here. A little bit down, yeah. Sometimes you can have stress here uh, due to the workout. So you're gonna move up and down like this, okay? This is the first technique. You're gonna need to do this uh, three times, uh, 20 to 30 reps each time. Uh, I really prefer that you do this before going to sleep because it's uh, really good for actually going to sleep. You're gonna sleep like a baby, especially if you have a lot of stress. You do this on a daily basis. Uh, if you have a lot of uh, trigger points and a lot of stress caused uh, by the muscles, but if you don't, I prefer just do them like three times a week. Uh, now we're gonna move to uh, working with the neck right here. We, we have to be a little nifty and creative. Uh, we need to create an angle with our body to have access to neck muscles. I hope that the video is uh, demonstrative enough and that you can see I'm creating an angle with my body like this and I'm using the pressure of my body to actually work on the muscle. Yeah, right here I have I have it right here. This is due to the excessive use of the phone and laptop. I'm not proud of saying this, but it is. Okay, up and down guys. It feels so good. You're gonna do this. Ah, uh, yeah. Good stuff. I can't stop doing it because it feels good. <laughs> okay, this is just for demonstration. We're gonna do this uh, 20 to 30 reps. You also need to work on the other side, whether it was like on your back and on your neck. So for the neck, you're gonna put it right here. I'm gonna hold the ball like this. And you're gonna move up and down, exactly like this. Remember not to cause too much pressure because you don't wanna like hurt uh, or cause pain for the nerves or, or for your bones or anything, so just find the trigger point and try to be uh, moderate with the amount of pressure that you apply, okay? Uh, now for, for this part, which is my favorite actually, we're gonna be like very, very creative. In the beginning I was creative, now more, now I'm gonna be really, really creative with this. Uh, we're gonna need to use the door angle here to create access because it's hard to create access for this. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put the ball right here and we are gonna go down like this, creating the angle to actually reach the neck. Exactly like this guys. We're gonna go up and down. Yeah, feels so damn good. I'm sorry for these noises But I really can't stress out how good this feels guys, especially if you have a lot of stress there If you try this you are gonna like me I guarantee you you're gonna like me. 
yeah, like this. You're gonna do this 20 to 30 reps. I'm gonna move on now to the second muscle right here. So the idea is that I'm gonna go inside. I have to go inside to be able to reach the left neck right here, the left side. Yeah, up and down like this, guys. Oh my God, it feels so good. Remember to control the amount of pressure you're applying. Like that, exactly. Ah, big thanks to our cameraman, by the way, for the effort of moving the camera back and forth because I was not gonna be able to do this on my own because I have to move around. Uh, guys, I guarantee you, you are gonna like these techniques. Uh, speaking of likes, before I sign off, don't forget to like this video because it's like you saying thank you to me for my effort. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. Again, you're gonna have to do these to do, 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 to do these techniques. Uh, let's say like three times a week if you have like moderate amount of pain that that are that is tolerable. But if you have a lot of pain, I prefer that you do them every single day. Uh, for uh, like before going to sleep, but remember not to cause so much tension on the muscles, okay? Uh, until we meet again in a new video, remember guys to stay fit and peace out. Damn.